Don't be scared into spending a lot of money this Halloween. Turn your home sweet home into a haunted mansion with creepy DIY decor. Expert Bianca White is here to show us how it's done. Get this, every project is actually under $10. How are you? $10. Hi, Christine. Thank you guys for having me back. Of course. I yes. love this. These are cute and clever. And the fact that they won't break the bank, sign me up. And you have three, right? We have three Halloween decor projects, and each of them costs less than $10 to make. Yes. And let's go into the first one. Tell me more about this. All right. So this is our caution tape wreath. And we are going to start this project using a pool noodle, some duct tape, Got it. A lightweight skull head and a hot glue gun. Terrific. And and, uh, some, and of course some sewing some caution tape. And some caution tape. That's the yep. key. You can use sewing pin, a sewing pin, but you can also use a hot glue gun as well. Perfect. All right. All right. How do so we start? So we will start our wreath by folding the two ends together. So Got if it. you'll go ahead and hold sure. that for me. And I will go ahead and wrap those ends up with duct tape. It. Easy enough. Yep. And you want to make sure you're wrapping just enough so that it stays in place. Perfect. All right. We all have this. We all have these lying around our garage from yes. summertime. And it is the off season right now. And yep. I actually got these for 10 cents. <gasps> 10, 10 cents. cents. Yes. You are a bargain shopper. Yes, I love I it. Yes, I am. Okay, all next right. up. So once your pool noodle is in a circle form, yeah. you want to move on to wrapping it in the caution tape. Perfect. And I've already halfway started this, so we'll go ahead and finish it up. Terrific. And Christine, if you will go ahead and drop a dab of hot glue right there for me. Easy enough. Yep. There Thanks we to go. the magic of TV. Look at this. Yes, there we go. But again, this is something that will just take a minute, a minute to wrap to around. Do. Yep. All right. Okay. And make sure you're using a low temperature glue gun so that you don't burn through your caution tape. Oh, great yep. tip. All right. Okay. So we will go ahead and glue our bow I'll onto hold the this front up for you. Yep. There we go. Great. Pretty easy. And for like the uh, skeleton head, where do you, I mean, do you go online? Do you go to dollar stores? I get where do you get all of these materials from the dollar store? Perfect. And you would be surprised that you can actually find caution tape in the in dollar the do store. <laughs> and they actually have zombie themed caution tape too. Okay. All right. Good. So once that's on there, you want to go ahead and glue your skull head on top. Got it. You want to make sure you're using a lightweight one. That I was just about to say that, that guys. Won't. This is not one of the heavier ones. Right. Obviously, it wouldn't stay with just some hot glue. But look at how cute. All right. And that is literally it. And we are done. Done, done. Yep. And I'm going to put it down carefully. Yep. And, and if you want to add a little just extra, say, cute. you can add splashes of blood and a big spider. And these come two in a pack at the dollar store as well. I love it. You All are right. so good. Thank you. Thrifty. All okay. Right. What what is this now? So oh. these, this is one of my favorites. Clever. <laughs> Clever. So these are just plastic flamingos that you stick in your yard, and all you do is just paint them black and turn them into vultures. Right. So cute. And tell us about the materials. <laughs> so you will need a plastic flamingo. Got all it. Right. You will need um, duct tape or painter's tape. Got it. Sponge brush, black paint, and red paint, and that is, and feathers. And feathers right. and our hot glue. And our hot glue gun. Perfect. All right. So, you will start with painting your flamingo black, which is pretty easy to do. Right. But before we actually get all the way started, Christine, yes, you will go ahead and need? take this tape and cover up the oh, beak of the of flamingo. Of course, yep. of course. We want to leave that yellow so that it still see. looks like a bird at the end. Got it, got right. it. For the sake of TV, hopefully that was good. Nope, that is pretty, pretty good. good. Yep. Okay. All right, and you will just continue to finish painting your flamingo. And what kind of paint is this? This is just regular acrylic crafting paint. Got you it. can use spray paint to okay. speed up the process, but I prefer to use this type of paint because in the summertime you can just scrub this off and your flamingo will be pink again. Oh, that's cute. Yep. Okay. All right. I love, I love that. We recycle. We, we like to use. we like to save money. Yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So once that is pretty much done, if you have a flamingo with hollow eyes. You can take a dab of red paint. Okay. And you can just put some in the eyes to give him a little bit Yanka, more of too a cute. scarier face. Looks very I evil like. and sinister. And then, ooh, lastly, for lastly, our vulture, we need so some. So, Christine, if you'll go ahead and take our glue gun and got line it. the neck just got the with neck. some glue. Perfect. Got it. it doesn't have to be perfect, just, just enough. Just a little bit. All right. And then we will wrap the neck in feathers. I got this feather boa from the dollar store as well. Okay. Look All at right. that. And if you just cut off the excess, we are done. done. And look how cute. You put it in a little plastic cauldron. Yep. I put that in a cauldron, but you can definitely just stick it in your front yard as well. Perfect. All how right. cute. There's our final product. All right. Adorable. And lastly, floating Last candles. Last but not least, we have our floating candles. And these are also called Harry Potter candles because okay. they resemble what floats up in the cafeteria. In the yes. Morning. All right. So for this project, you will need a tissue roll. 
Easy enough. All right. Tea light candles. Right. A sponge brush. Hot glue gun. Black crafting paint. Some fishing wire. Okay. And a sponge brush. Got it. All right. So we just take so, our rolls. You'll take a roll. And Christine, if you want to go ahead and start yes. lining the top mm -hmm. and making some fake drips. Oh, fake. We'll add a little bit more glue yeah. to that gun. I was just going to say. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you want it to actually look Got it. Oh, like, yeah. like fake drips. How am I doing, everybody? You're good? doing really good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So good. while you finish that up, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and get our, get our paint ready. Got it. I'm going to do a little bit more down here. All right. Why not? I'm going to town. Okay. All right. That is perfect. Okay. All right. So this dries pretty quickly. Got it. All right. And then after it completely dries, you want to go ahead and you want to start painting your candle black. Okay. And again, same kind of acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. I love this paint. It is 50 cents at any crafting store. Got it. Yep. And look at that. It really, I was worried right. it wasn't really quite dry, but it already is dry. <laughs> it is already dry. Okay. And you will completely cover that. So we'll go ahead and leave this. Okay. And after Take it completely dries, side. yep, you'll move on to the next step. So we'll go to this one that we have right sure. here. So this one is already dry. All right. And the next step is to take a pushing pin or a needle and you want to create four holes. So you want to put two on the back side. Okay. And two on the front side. Got it. All right. And that's to hang our wire. That is to hang our wire. We want to pull it through. And so with your fishing wire, you want to pull it through diagonally on the inside so that it creates an X right there. Perfect. You All can right? see the X, right? And what that X go. does is support the tea light candle once we drop it in there. Okay, yep. perfect. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Uh, so okay. that is pretty much done. done. And Christine, if you want to go ahead and drop that tea light right on in there. You know it. You know yep. it. Yeah. Okay. Drop it in there. All right. Mm. Push it in. And if your tea light is a little bit smaller, you can line that with hot glue just to secure it a little okay. bit. Okay. All right. And then? And then these wires right here, you tie them together and you can hang them from anywhere. Oh, that is so, so cute. And if you want to hang it to your ceiling, you can just use a thumbtack. Okay, right. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I kind of could have done that outside on our front you porch. You could have so done cute. that outside. And then I like that you said if you didn't want to hang them, you can actually do that as well. Yes, you can set them on a candle holder or any type of pedestal just to give it a little spooky look. I added a spider down here. You want to see that our, yep. our dog also and is our, our dog. Jack, yeah. <laughs> and if you want to hang it, like I said, you can hang it from anywhere. And our dog is holding one in his mouth. And this will be really cute on your front doorstep. Yes, such great, clever ideas. If you want more information about these spectacular crafts, simply visit Bianca online at BiancaOctavia.com. Com. Or dot right. co. Dot com or dot co now. Okay. Oh, dot excellent. Both. See, you're <laughs> dot both. You're teaching me all these things.